what's going on everybody my name's chit and this is destiny chit chat today is arms day i made a few orders and i want to check out what he's selling this week i was trying i'm currently trying to get a truth rocket in the legendary form so i ordered both the jlb 42 and 47 last week so hopefully get some grenade and horseshoes in this to start off we got a reactive reload not that great perfect balance quick draw flared magwell single point sling not happy with that at all let's move on we have vacuum increases the pickup radius of ammo drops okay heavy payload decent very nice very nice speed reload lightweight and perfect balance don't really need perfect balance last one let's see Reactive reload again with perfect balance, snapshot, flared magwell, single point sling. Wow, no grenades or horseshoes for the JLB 42 this week. That is unfortunate. Moving on to the 47, I'm just gonna hold on to the 42 for next week. We have vacuum again. Perfect balance, quick draw, speed reload, single point sling. This is looking like the same perk setup for both models. The Oh, I'm looking at the 42. Okay. And we have heavy payload, surplus, perfect balance, lightweight, flared magwell. Mm, it's not great either. Last one. Oh, here we go, guys. Grenades and horseshoes. There we go. Javelin. Oh, yes. Snapshot, speed reload single point sling not heavy payload but it is close enough so i am gonna pick this up i'll just hold on to the 42 for next week and i'm gonna pick this one up very nice all right let's see what he's offering this week the suros pdx 41 now i know everyone's going crazy about the pdx 45 because it's the hawk saw equivalent but you may want to check the 41 out because this is more along the lines of the nerwin's mercy from iron banner it has the same impact the rate of fire it's got a little less stability than the newer ones, but it makes up for it in range. And for those of you that do not know, range is directly tied into aim assist. So with that increased range, it's going to be a little bit more sticky on your targets. If you can get something like small bore or perfect balance to increase that stability to match newer ones, you may have a devastating weapon on your hands. All right, it looks like he has the Soros JLB 42 and 47 again this week. So if you're looking for a legendary rocket launcher, definitely pick one of these up. We have the Hake Strongbow D Shotgun. Nothing much to say about the shotgun. It's not a conspiracy theory type. Um, it's got fairly low impact, but um, shotguns are in a pretty weird place right now. So if you want to experiment and try it out, go right ahead. Then we have the Hake Tamar D Sniper Rifle. Uh, this is pretty low impact. I do not imagine you can revive snipe on this. Highly doubt that. And if you're going to go with Hake Snipers, uh, expect a slightly weird scope. Not as weird as the Amalon Snipers, but uh, this is more of a, another experimental one. Uh, purchase at your own risk. Well... I think that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. I actually do plan on streaming now. I just created a Twitch account. I got everything set up. I got a brand new Elgato capture card. So um, I think I'm going to try and start streaming. That way you guys can interact with me live and ask me any questions you feel like asking me. So be sure to follow my Twitch as well as I'm building it because I'm still working on a few things with that. So, I will check you guys later. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. Man, I really hate this guy the way he looks at me.